This is our weekly wrap up on the renal system. Some functions of the kidney include fluid and electrolyte balance, blood pressure management, and removing toxins like urea and creatinine from the blood. If you see these values elevating, then your patient could be in renal failure. Now, if the kidney's having trouble removing excess amounts of fluid, then we can give our patients diuretics. After administration, we're gonna need to monitor those patients' electrolytes pretty closely. Remember, we pee out potassium, so you might see that potassium decrease unless you're giving spironolactone. That SP tells you we're sparing potassium, so it's going to stay in the bloodstream. Glomerulonephritis and nephrotic syndrome are both disorders of the kidneys. The itis in glomerulonephritis tells you there's lots of inflammation happening caused by bacteria. It results in red blood cells leaking into the urine, making it cola colored, and it's treated by antibiotics. Now, nephrotic syndrome results in large amounts of protein leaking out of the kidneys. When protein leaks out, it turns our urine frothy. Without protein in the blood, our patients could third space leading to anisarca and edema. It's always good to monitor our patient's blood pressure, ins and outs, and electrolytes with anyone experiencing kidney damage. If you need more test taking strategies, join my small group session tomorrow at 9 a.m. Central Time. See you there.